right um, okay i i got oh, yes. a good idea uh, on uh, the profile so i i wanted to understand you mentioned a bit about cost optimization uh, so mm -hmm. what sort of is it a customer requirement to work on cost optimization uh, uh, yes, so uh, Forstack mainly focus on FinOps, so they want to reduce the cost in the client uh, accounts. So what we do is first we test in uh, dev environment how our logic works. So for example, if I have to give um, a simple say EC2 instance, uh, now we go with uh, say idle policy. So what do we do is we check with the metrics. For example, CPU and memory utilization. We have a threshold say 5%. If it is less than that, then the customer is not using and it is a waste of time having that in their environment. So we tell that uh, customers that uh, this is of no use since you're not using it for a certain period. period. Mm -hmm. um, and we also um, provide them how the cost uh, works as well, whether it is billing logic or unit rate logic. Uh, we have complex policies as well, so which uh, have really helped the customers uh, uh, in cutting down the cost. But then this, there are a lot of tools, right? They provide these kind of reports. Uh, there's is there anything beyond that uh, do you like identifying idle resources is one case for uh, uh, optimization anything else uh, do you understand reserved instances Yes, yes. Spot instances, reserved, dedicated host. Yes, we uh, not only worked on the simple terms, uh, complex conflict policies as well. For example, a service might have different compute tires. And uh, for example, if I talk about file store in GCP, it has uh, enterprise uh, basic standard. So we analyze uh, uh, what enterprise features are, what standard features are, and what basic features are, whether customer is using all those features to its optimum level. If it's not being used to how to detect that and how uh, cost uh, reducing happens if we ask them to switch over that and we also recommend them as well so based on the we just provide what all the alternative recommendations they can use but it's uh, completely based on client uh, whichever the recommendation is suitable for them they're going to use that for example if some customer is running their workloads in uh, eks maybe what all areas you will analyze for cost optimization? So, for example, uh, um, AWS EKS first will check whether we have a master uh, node and uh, worker nodes. So, we'll check whether the since work master node is a passive, we will not be doing anything there. Worker nodes will analyze what type of instance they are using it, whether they they are. Uh, using it to its optimum level if that particular instance is uh, instance type is not being used to its optimum level uh, gcp whatever i mean uh, uh, memory and uh, cpu whatever the instance type provide if they are not using we'll ask them to shift to a distance a different instant type and also we do have pods as well so we do recommend a horizontal pod auto scaling vertical pod auto scaling if uh, the uh, pods are not being used we do have metrics for pod using kubectl uh, we analyze the those metrics whether the pods are being used completely or not on pod level on instance level on container level also we did but uh, not to um, uh, not uh, uh, optimum cost optimization we can we could obtain on con uh, container level but on pod and instance level we have worked on it. Okay. 